Hi folks and welcome to the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. I'm your host Andrew, I'm a part-time eBay reseller and a mental health advocate. Today it is uh, another episode of the semi-regular um, YouTube series Reseller Ramblings where I talk about my views on a particular subject. And today I thought I would talk about sourcing from wholesalers. Um, at the moment, as I'm sure everyone is aware, here in the UK and indeed the world, we're experiencing a severe viral epidemic. Um, the result of that means that um, a lot of places we traditionally source from aren't available to us. Um, and there are the restrictions in place that prevent us from going either to other locations or that mean that we're facing massive queues when we're going into stores, etc. So it's becoming a little bit harder, I personally find, to source products from traditional places like charity shops, boot sales and even retail stores for retail arbitrage. So as a result of that, I've been thinking hard about how I personally can source products to sell in the Money Mental Emporium, um, which is the name of my eBay store, for those who don't know. Um, so the... Uh, the, the, the challenge for me has been moving more towards sourcing stuff that I can get delivered to me without me having to leave the house, which, you know, potentially could lead to exposure to said deadly epidemic, but also without having to face big queues and the fact that half the places I want to source in are, are no longer open as well. So um, I've been looking very much into wholesale. Um, as, as, as an option now wholesale is a, a totally new and different um, business model previously you know I was used to buying stuff in charity shops and car boot sales you know paying a pound for it maybe flipping it for 10 15 or more you know getting really good um, sort of return on investment good margins and all the rest of it um, so it's uh, you know so it's and it's been good and lucrative, but the uh, as I say there are there are issues now securing stock through that that sort of route. Um, I'm aware that there's online arbitrage, which a lot of uh, Amazon sellers in particular do, where you buy stuff online and you flip it for a profit. But I find that the online arbitrage market is very competitive and very difficult to um, to get into. Um, mostly because there's a large amount of people doing it and probably even more since the uh, the lockdowns etc took place so instead i've been taking a different route where i've been contacting wholesalers directly and doing deals with them to source stock now the margins are much much less on wholesale stuff and you do have to pay more money as well to get what you want so it's it's definitely not for those who haven't got sufficient cash flow um into their business and it's it's not something i would recommend for anyone who's starting out reselling unless you've got a large amount of cash that you can invest and spend um most wholesalers have a, something called a, an moq a minimum order quantity um where you have to spend a set amount of money with them before you can actually even check out or you know sort of buy the items you know and these these minimum order quantities can range from you know 100 just over 100 pounds to just over a thousand pounds you know so the, you can be talking three or four figures uh, expenditure on stock um the other um thing is as i mentioned is that the, the margins are much less um a good margin in wholesale would be a 30 percent return on investment so say you buy a profit but say you spend 100 pound on, on products You'd only be expecting to make about 30 quid back if you get more than that brilliant you've got a good deal um but a lot of people actually operate on a 20 percent margin so that that shows you what it is which means you've got to spend a lot more to accumulate a lot less money but by and large if you're buying direct from wholesalers you are actually buying new goods which in my experience if you do your research properly will turn over a lot quicker so although you've got more cash tied up you also see that money coming back quicker which means you can then invest 
more money and buying more stock and the business sort of builds up so it's definitely something to to consider from from that angle um, there's also another type of wholesale i use which is the sort of the vintage clothing wholesalers you know you've probably seen some of the videos done where i've shown off some hauls from them um margins are much much better uh and bigger with your vintage wholesalers um but you do have to be careful who you source from a lot of these vintage wholesalers are used to dealing with big massive chain stores or you know because there are some huge vintage chain stores over in europe and um some big ones here in the uk um you probably want to stay away from the companies like syed vintage for example that, that supply those because you coming along with your 100 or 200 pound order you're not really going to be a uh, a big customer for them that they're not going to push the boat out for you but if you look for smaller vintage wholesalers um i for example can recommend uh, vault vintage who supply me on a regular basis and i've done very well out of uh, another company is cl vintage works we're setting up a website soon so look out for that um, i've been speaking to their owner craig today um he's very keen to to sell and support businesses of whatever scale and there's there's various other ones around and i'm sure you can find them find out about and there you can you, you can comfortably look for at least a hundred percent margin but again you're still talking minimum order quantities you've got to order a certain number of pieces so you do need to have that cash flow in place but the real advantage of it is is that you can message them direct to say look this is what i want this is my budget what can you do for me and they will go and pick out stuff and send it direct to your home address you can have a conversation that only takes a few minutes you get good quality stock delivered to your home uh, without having to go out and source it which means you've got more time to list so i definitely recommend considering that as an approach if you've got the cash in place and I, as i say also worth exploring the sort of traditional wholesalers who are dealing in new goods new branded products etc and see what you can source from them um, if you do do well out of it it's you know it's, it's sort of something that will feed itself particularly if you find what we call replenishable stock where you can reorder the stuff because uh, they've always got it in stock so you're constantly selling it constantly making that money and that's certainly one of my aims the other reason that i'm very focused on wholesale at the minute apart from being able to get stuff delivered to me store delivered to me home saving time on sourcing not exposing myself to any dangerous nasties is that in the future um i am looking to move um on to selling on amazon um it's always been a long-term aim that i've been building towards is having both an ebay and an amazon business um i've been watching amazon and how it's developing and how it's going over the last sort of two three years while i've been reselling and i'm seeing a shift um and i'm sure it is are as well in amazon wanting to largely deal with people who source their products their new products i should say from um, wholesalers they don't seem to be very keen on retail arbitrage and online arbitrage uh, and that keenness seems to be getting less and less for them as well they seem to be putting more barriers up in place to encourage people to source wholesale so i feel that by me investing the time and the effort now into building wholesale contacts generating an increased cash flow for my business that actually that will then mean when i come to launch onto amazon um, where a lot of products are categories are gated and you need wholesaler invoices etc to open them i already have all of that stuff in place i already have the network to source the stock it'll simply be a case for me of ordering it in sending amazon the invoices to say look this is a legitimate product from a wholesaler hopefully getting ungated in those categories and selling stuff on for a nice profit because the margins can be a bit, bit better on amazon than they are on ebay i'll still source because i'm stuff that actually is going to give me a decent margin on ebay as well so if there's any issues i can make sure that i um i can sell the product on on amazon uh, on ebay um without having to worry about amazon but yeah that's my plan and 
the new office, the thousand square foot massive office that I'm moving towards will certainly help with that as well because it gives me the, the space to hold large quantities of stock to sell on eBay but also the room to prepare stuff and send it into Amazon FBA etc. Anyway so those are my thoughts on wholesale and sourcing through wholesale. If you've got any experiences of um, wholesale sourcing yourself that you'd like to share feel free to comment those below um, I'd love to hear about what your, your experiences have been. If you've liked the video, do give it a like. If you're not subscribed, do hit that subscribe button. Press the bell below to get notified when I'm doing new content. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.